Hey, look, it's an- ah! <laughs> What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? I, I think it's the shadows. Oh, dear. I don't want them to see me again. Again? Yes, kitty. They were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Please don't be foreshadowing. Of course, my dear. I promise. Great. Now we have to keep on going. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. I don't like the sound of that at all. Okay, uh... Let's take a look at this. Exactly the same. Okay. Ah, hello! Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right! The bar's open! Let's, uh... Take a lemon. If we can. The basket seems to be in good shape. That's good. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it in summertime. There he is! Ha ha ha! Let's take a lemon. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Aww. Aww. But I need one. Hey. Can I come in? I want to come in. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? Only thirsty citizens get a ticket. If all of you thirsty citizens get a ticket, then why do you even need tickets? <clears throat> why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. I'm not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. Alright, sir, I understand. But what can I do then? I really would like to go inside. I don't know. This never happened before. Then why do you even... Don't question. Don't question. Just do. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Can I go inside now? Do I need to do something over here? I don't know. I... I I don't have the clues for this puzzle yet. Okay. Let's go. Oh! Flower! Pretty. Let's take it. Yay! The red flower. It's like warm love. The red flower, it smells funny. Now is that one of the... No, it's not. We'll need it for something, apparently. Okay. Just checking! Alright. Wha- Ha 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 No! Falcor! What happened to you? Oh my god! Alondra, sir! Oh my god! Wait, don't go! Oh no, he looked really bad, kitty. Isn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Oh, this is Palantris' feather. I hope he gets better soon. That's not his feather. I'm pretty sure that's like the dark Palantris that, like, the evil black one that attacked him. It has blood on it. Okay. Uh, alright. Hey, look! This! Take that. 
No, no, no. Take the gem. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's just kind of walk around until we can see some items to pick up. Fish? Kill the fish! Yeah! Okay. Anything else of note? Can I take a piece of this crystal that we were looking at earlier? Chip, chip away at it. Kitty, what do you think? Okay, um... Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So we have people who sell thread. There's a lot of fabric in the box. Let's take some. Buttons. Uh, do I have any? Wait a minute. We can use this on something. Bug, 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 bug. Let's give it to a bug. Okay. Hello. He makes things with iron. We don't have anything made of iron. That child looks really freaky. A uh, sour smile. So it's a lemon. It's a pineapples. Do you want this bug extermination ticket? Is this the ticket that we used to get inside the club? What do you do again? What? I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. Mmm, many faces. This looks intriguing. Are the faces crying blood? Leon Castillo? One of the thousand? What does that mean? My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old, and he seems sad. Hmm, let's see what he wrote. So, he liked talking to animals, plants, and insects. Are we in his world? December 17th. This was on the wall. That's... These are the demons from inside the hospital. December 17, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood. The messages. The screaming. All the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Is he related to the pills? The black shadows. I can see them too. They're everywhere. Cry because it hurts. Hmm, creepy. Huh, the monster is making other people sick too. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom? I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness, from the fifth reality. It talked to me. Played, uh, played with me and showed me all the terrors. I t it told me that I was the key to its existence. <clears throat> okay. January 13th, 1876. Sorry, I was... I can see myself around the other uh, I can see myself around the other me tell me lies talks about all the pain and suffering in my life the other me wants me to commit suicide he smiles while pronouncing the words kill yourself 
and I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Ah, that's nice. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Camelus. Their race is called the Camelus. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, "We are born and feed. Uh, we are born and feed. We are we are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind." What kind of a sentence structure is this? We are born and feed from, fed from, fear, and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. So the hospital is doing something with this. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. After seeing the Camelus reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Camelus transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Camelus calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. <laughs> they melt like the wicked witches in fairy tales. Ah, peaceful creatures. Not quite, Fran. If I looked like them, I would go around scaring bad people. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thirsto awaits, all Velakas must go there after waking up. If you wish... To see the light come with me, you have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Ah, re read thoughts. That's a bit scary. I guess we're all, uh, I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand. Especially if they seem nice. I was writing my uh, I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something to recall remorse from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Athirsta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Velakis invitation. Since I saw the Velakis, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. One, two, three, four, five. Five realities. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Huh. Don't understand the drawing. Looks interesting, though. Maybe it's to show how time looks like. So, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So there's five realities, or five worlds, or five dimensions, I guess, is a way of thinking of it. And they're all on a clock, um, which means that they all exist at the same time. Kind of like parallel universes, I think. More like parallel realities. And I don't know exactly how they're, how they interact with each other because they do interact with each other to a certain degree because maybe the fifth reality is the one that we keep going to with the pills. <clears throat> uh, where we're at right now is one of those realities and it seems like the shadows or the demons, I guess, what I was calling them, are able to travel to some extent in between these realities but not, not, not as freely as they'd like, I suppose. But what we're seeing here is uh, these opposing forces of light and darkness. Velakis are uh, going to be your dark forces. And uh, no, Velakis are going to be the light forces and whatever, what is it? Uh, 
What was the other one called? Okay, Camelus. Camelus is the light ones. The Locus are the dark ones. I guess. Got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend, just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Yeah, I, I imagine that if you did try to tell somebody, you know, this kind of thing, they would think you were crazy. You should get a cat, Mr. Leon. My son thinks I'm insane. Bah, you're not. I can tell. Lonely with no family, huh? My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. That is the pattern that we've seen before. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws. <clears throat> Because they are not only laws, they, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm, while dying. I think I have to study some chemistry to understand what he means. It can be fun to understand how, we're built, how, we, are, how we are builded and such, apparently. Ow, he seems sad. That's sad. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws. Because they are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. Is that blood smear at the top? Bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few seconds. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue, and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Well, not entirely, because platelets and, blood and white blood cells wouldn't work on plants. But, good thought. Ah, what creature can that be? Philantris. Oh, mysterious pink water. Hehe, <laughs> good for the plant that got better and bloomed. <gasps> it's Mr. Midnight! November 22nd. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Ether Star varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Wow, I love the pictures. Many kittens and many colors. Oh, with Thirsta. It feels like fresh air is coming from the book. We're missing some pages, guys. Looks like somebody ripped off some of the pages here. The Great Volacus is the beginning of the first reality. Prim pr prime? Primi primeve? Primeve. Light. Volaca shield. The Volaca's body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngsters reach age 299, 792, 459, they are crowned with the shield. Oh. Once the youngsters reach the age 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. Are those letters? They sound funny. Oh, I like the mask. I guess they call it shield. Blah 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 years old. Well, that's old. Ziar. Creatures of the Great Balakas. King of Aethersta. Uh, second reality. Life. Creature of the Great Balakas. King of Aethersta. 
being in Thursta, being in Thursta feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Ah, beautiful creatures. I love them. I like the trees and the crystals and the grass. Everything! The wisdom in the water? I'm starting to feel like I definitely missed this when I first got here. Um... I probably wouldn't have gotten as frustrated and irritated when I first, like, arrived here at this place if I had read this first. Um, I actually forgot that it was in my inventory. So I'm glad that I'm getting to this now because it's... Not everything seems quite so random. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence. Free. 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 Resides in the human world, third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness, practice of will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness, practice of will. Center city. Center city. Center city. The end of vibration. When both ends of opposites when both ends of opposites are the same degree. Resides in third and fourth reality. Death. I don't understand this. I'm gonna have to go back and like actually sit and reread this again. At some point. Earth? That's my planet. Sen Center City. Center City. Hmm. Death. Ma Mabuka is the end of light. Wow, many heads. That creature must spend a lot of time thinking. Blood everywhere. The end of light? Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love and everywhere. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. Dark things? When the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Maybe they like it dark, because they are so ugly. And they are so ugly that they prefer not to see each other. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's what they look like. That's why they look like they're growing hair, and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Luciferns gather in filaments. Okay, so like the, the people with the hair. The heads with the hair. That must be Mr. Leon sitting there. Are those the shiny insects? Where's the hair comb? Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. And he ripped out the rest of the pages. What is this? The drawing to the... I missed it. Oh no, somebody ripped out the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Hmm. So all of this happened over a period of... What? What? Oh, okay. This is a preface. No. Preface. This was inserted after. 1908. And this started in 1875. So this happened over a period of three years, and then he came back and he wrote this. If you're reading this, it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things other can't. Okay. Well, guys, I think that was a very lengthy read, but it was also very, um, in some ways, very illuminating, and in, in other ways, very um, confusing and enigmatic. Um, we're going to end it here because I've actually been playing for quite some time and my, my throat's getting a little bit tired. 
Uh, my interest in this game has been um, re re -peaked. Um So I'm kind of uh, excited about continuing. Honestly, I was a little bit hesitant or uh, more, more like uh, reluctant to come back to this game after um, we became a tree because it just seemed like nonsense and it kind of lost my interest. But interest is uh, peaked now again and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to try to solve the, the, the uh, riddles. I'm going to have another read through that journal and think about it a little bit and then I'll come back with uh, hopefully a little bit more feedback. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, list any ideas down below. No spoilers please. I'll see you next time.